Our poem this week is titled Under a Telephone Pole, and it was written by Carl Sandberg. You have just watched a video that gives you a little bit of information about help, how telephones used to work. Um, so keep in mind that information as we read through this poem. I am a copper wire slung in the air. In your mind, picture that copper wire in the air. Slim against the sun, I make not even a clear line of shadow. That copper wire is so thin and the sun is shining on it, but because it's so thin, it doesn't even really make much of a shadow. Night and day, I keep singing, humming and thrumming. In this case, the poet is talking about the wires singing and Obviously, they're not literally singing, but they are making a humming and thrumming, um, which is like a vibration of the voices that are being sent through those electrical signals through the wires. It is love and war and money. It is the fighting and the tears, the work and the want. So in that line, the poet Carl Sandburg is explaining what people are using the telephone to talk about. So you have this perspective. It's almost as if the telephone wire, the telephone poles are being personified to be carriers of messages from one person to another. And the messages that they're carrying are about love and war and money and fighting and tears and work and things that we want, all of the important things in life. And then the list continues in the next line. Death and laughter of men and women passing through me, carrier of your speech. So the telephone wires are the carriers of the speech of people who are speaking to one another on the phone. And they're talking about death and they're laughing. And um, these men and women are carrying this information, um, having this information, excuse me, carried through um, these telephone poles. Last line, or second to the last line, in the rain and wet dripping, in the dawn and the shine drying. So it doesn't matter the weather that is out and about. These telephone wires are carrying these messages all the time. In rainy weather, in um, sunrise, sunset, when it's dry out, they're always working. And then the poet ends his poem by just simply stating, a copper wire.